Calendar here coming to you on a Friday night and I uh, kind of wanted to show you a pipe that I bought probably I guess eight or nine ten days ago that it actually got here. Uh, this is a I guess the maker said it was like a German style pipe but um, this was made by one of our, our YouTube members uh, uh, and I guess his his name is pronounced Alan Kerslake. Uh, the best way I can pronounce it, but but uh, I know a lot of people are sub to him, and he's sub to a lot of people in the community, and uh, he makes a lot of pipes, makes a lot of of uh, cherry wood pipes and things. But uh, he he was showing this pipe that he had made uh, from a piece that he had found off of eBay, I believe the the piece here, the bottom piece, and uh, so uh, I contacted him via instant me or via message and a uh, private message, and I asked him if he would be interested in building me a pipe and. He said, sure. So uh, the uh, if you look at this thing, the bowl on it is made from mulberry wood. And so is the stem here. And then the bottom piece here is made from uh, cherry. And uh, Alan, you know, he hand makes all this at his shop there at his house. Uh, and Alan's from Great Britain, actually in Wales. Uh, so, uh, you know, I had to wait a little while for this thing to come across the pond. But uh, it was well worth it. Uh, really haven't decided if I'm gonna uh, smoke it yet or not. I, I mean, I really want to smoke it, and and in some ways I don't want to smoke it. It's uh, it's just a nice pipe, you know. Uh, I don't imagine I'll run into anybody anytime soon with one just like it. So, uh, but it was just something I thought was pretty neat, and but uh, thought I had to have. Now he, uh, as you can see, it's got a, you know, it's got it's drilled straight down, and then it's got a chamber, and then it comes through. And he sent me some wire. Uh, cloth, some round pieces of wire cloth that I can actually drop in the bottom here to make sure ash doesn't drop down into the lower portion of the pipe. So, uh, just kind of wanted to share that with everybody. I thought it was really unique. Thought you might enjoy seeing it. Uh, and uh, I guess if uh, if I do smoke it uh, here shortly, I'll I'll make a video of it. But uh, the other thing that was kind of funny about this, not funny but interesting, is uh, Alan sent it in a unique container. And uh, I uh, this is my daughter Lindsay. Say hi, Lindsay. Hi. Uh, so when he when he sent it over, he sent it in a Quaker Oats box. And uh, so uh, I was kind of looking at this box as I was opening it up, and I told Lindsay, I said, "Come take a look at this thing." And uh, so it, this box is from from Great Britain, and it's a little different from ours. Uh, you know, for one thing, you can see oats so simple. I don't think I've ever seen that. But uh, when's the last time? Y'all had to open up your sachet of oatmeal and not your packet, you know. So, uh, but uh, it was kind of neat seeing how things was different in different areas. And uh, I don't know if it's on here or not. Uh, where is it at, Lynn? Porridge. Yeah, <laughs> over, you know, it's kind of like the three bears there. It's a little porridge, you know. Um, so uh, she really got a kick out of this. Uh, so did I. But, uh, you know, so uh, both things were a hit, you know, the... Uh, and I think what kind of stamp? It don't have the good housekeeping stamp of approval. What's it got? It has the Queen's. That's the Queen Queen's Royal Seal of some sort that uh, that it's been approved to, uh, for consumption in Great Britain. So, uh, just a little different from uh, from what we have here. But uh, just wanted to let Alan know. Alan, the pipe was a big hit uh, here. You know, everybody loved the pipe. I loved the pipe. But uh, man, you did good on this shipping container, dude, because it was a big hit over here. Uh, even her friend from school had to come in. They all got excited about the, the oatmeal box from Great Britain. So I uh, thought it was kind of funny. So, But uh, just wanted to share this with you. Sitting here on a Friday night, kind of uh, me and my daughter here by ourselves. Uh, kind of give you an update. My wife's over at her mom's, well, actually at her sister's house. Her mom actually did get to come home uh, Friday. And uh, she still uh, is doing remarkably well recovering and uh the uh, sister had to go out of town, so my wife's going to stay there with her tonight. So, But anyway, wanted to kind of bring that to you and show it to you and see what the kind of share that with the uh, community. So, uh, you know, if you want a really unique pipe or if you want a cherry wood pipe, uh, you know, I would uh, suggest getting in touch with Alan. And, uh, you know, he he didn't mind at all. And, and, and uh, you know, it really was painless. You know, we uh, he made the pipe and started on it, and he sent me a, a uh, invoice via... Uh, uh, PayPal, and I was able to pay for it with PayPal, and 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 here come the pipe. So, 
just thought it was kind of unique, and uh, I uh, just wanted to share. So, till we talk next time, Pipers, everybody just keep them lit and keep them smoking. Hey, Pipers, count them all back real quick. Uh, my uh, The daughter wanted to say one thing on the way out. Now? Yeah. Oh, keep them lit and keep them smoking. All right. Bye.